We are here to build some products with SharePoint and other tools inside of our environment with our business problems, with incredible Microsoft MVPs. The MVPs are walking through the door here in a few minutes, and I'm very excited to meet them. So, they're like rock stars. Microsoft found three superheroes for us. So it worked out great that they would just pop out of the sky because here I was on Monday morning. They show up at the front door, so it does feel like they swoop right on in. Hi. Hey. Welcome to Funko. Hi there. I'm Kurt. Nice to meet you. What do you think, right? It's just it's awesome. awesome. It's crazy, right? It's hard to explain My to people. My kids wish they were here with me. Right. <laughs> when you think of pop culture, we want Funko to come to mind. So that's really the ultimate goal for us. Oh, look at the baby ones. I mean, this is really cool. We're here to work on redesigning the intranet for Funko. So trying out some of the newer technologies just coming out from Microsoft. This idea of swooping in to Funko and helping them with their intranet, a lot of it in a way is a tease because it gets them wanting more. We're jam packing all of this into three days. We're here to try and see what our Funko's needs in terms of collaborating, communicating with the rest of their organization. There will definitely be a lot of challenges. We started with three employees, two artists, started with the company back in 98, and a warehouse dude. And I think we're about close to 600 people worldwide right now. There were a lot of great properties that didn't have collectibles. And I knew there were fans because I was a fan. We have Disney, we have Marvel, one of the popular sections. Harry Potter? Yeah, and then the Harry Potter Diagon Alley is just, again, it's unreal. Oh, that's so cool. We have incredible products and just the enthusiasm here, it's, it's in, contagious, right? But then on top of that is this fast-paced growth and we're all flying as fast as we can trying to, you know, keep this thing going. First and foremost, we're a pop culture company. Every day I think about, well, how do we enable that? We want to get to the future, because the future is digital. We're moving down that path because everybody's a tech company to some extent. And this is what we're doing for our fans and our retailers and our licensors. We've carried more licenses than any other company that I know of. This year was a big year for us. We acquired uh, three different companies. We acquired our European distributor, so that gives us boots on the ground, so we're now Funko Europe. Being a publicly traded company, I know it sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but it does give us a little bit of autonomy to continue with our own culture, our own style, our own way of doing work. So, oh, wow. here's our secret oh door. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I think our biggest worry was actually showing off our system. When you build some stuff up, and then you have to show people who are massive experts at it, you're like, oh my god, they're going to laugh at our stuff. They're, what are they going to The IT team that I'm on, I'm the only person that's really driving that area. And when you look at the breadth of Funko, people make toys here. They don't build SharePoint sites. Funkopedia has a great name, but there just wasn't great content. It's the version that we installed ourselves. It's sitting in servers we built here, and it's a big bunch of sites. It sprawled, it had lack of ownership, very little adoption, and even though there's a lot of sites and a lot of data in it, it's not heavily used. Which means nobody goes there, and because nobody goes there, nobody updates the content, and the whole thing cycles on itself. We started sort of digging into it, and we spent lots of time on the whiteboard. Okay, we're gonna redo this, but we're gonna try to do it the right way this time. And we got to the point where we weren't quite sure, right? We aren't, we're looking at it going, this looks okay, but we also know we're not experts at this. So Microsoft, they knew we needed a information governance hero. We needed a really wonderful InfoPath Power Apps hero. And we needed somebody that could really speak broadly about team sites and training. Three days is gonna be interesting. We're gonna at least start out by trying to create, what is that North Star? Sort of what are we going for and what does success look like? Then go spend a lot of time just clicking and, and building and 
getting it all knocked out as fast as we can. Perhaps that very small time frame is really gonna help us and uh, move forward. We'll just see what happens. And so you really, as a consultant, you have to come in and say, well, you know, how much of your life am I really gonna disrupt?